City TV, the YouTube channel showcasing the best culture from Liverpool and beyond. Today, Rappi Bar in Witness with John Power ahead of your gig tonight. How are you feeling? Ahead. Yeah. John, just ahead. Just John Power ahead. Uh, yeah. The talking head. Um, talking head. The question was how, how, what was how are you feeling? How am I feeling all right? We've just um, been Jay. Jay did us, we've been doing like a little um, uh, kind of acoustic tour off the, off the beaten track. It sounded like quite a romantic thing to do, <laughs> nearly at first. And, um, and here we are in witness yeah. off the beaten track, I'd say. Not so romantic in witness. Well, there you go, yeah, yeah. Not too bad. No, no, it's not too bad. I mean, to be honest with you, all the. You know, each night, we, some, some nights have been really dynamic. And great, and the right little venues are great. Yeah. Some of them, uh, you know, have been, all, have been not so great, but you know, it's all parts and parts. Of it. And we like to keep playing and doing our thing. Yeah, yeah, we're looking forward. I think it'll be a good, good show tonight. We're all, we've been on the road a bit, we're all a bit hoarse. How have you done the night has gone so far? Last night was playing marvellous. Was it? Yes. Where was that? It was in there. Newcastle upon Lyme was it? Just right. Stoke, oh, right. just just outside of Stoke. But we played a little uh, a pub called I think it's called the Half Moon, the Full Moon. Um, but um, it was absolutely rammed, and they went nuts. And we were it was like I mean, having all the gigs I've done in my life. It was you know it, it, relative. It was it was the it would go motion and everything in this pub. <laughs> So it was great. So we've had gigs like that, and tonight should be a great gig. We've had the odd gig, which has been a little bit sort of David Lynch, sort of Twin Peaks wedding reception, which is just surreal. It's not a real wedding, but I mean, you're in this. The, some venues are, are, are a little bit. They're not the right size for what we're doing, you know. And, uh, and some audiences are just a little bit. You know, they don't know how to let go, or they feel a bit intimidated because you did. You know, but it's been good. Every night, people ask, "What you know? Why are you? Why have you come here?" Yeah. <laughs> and we say, you know, because you want to meet the people. Like. Now, as a songwriter, how would you say that you were? You know, have you got to be in a certain mood? Or? You've got to be in a certain mood to want to finish something. But as a, as a, you know, as someone who. We'll always be, you know, picking up the guitar and looking for songs. I mean, I've always got lots of songs on the go. In fact, I need to stop writing new ideas and finish, finish them at the moment. Because I've got lots of things on the go. I mean, I wasn't really going to be touring this year. I thought I was going to have the year off to write. But um, then we end up doing the cast tour, which was came out the blue. And then I'm doing loads of this acoustic stuff. And then I'm doing that Lennon play. And then I'm doing more stuff. And I was going to write some new material for cast, maybe, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. But um, where there's a will, there's a way, as they say. You mentioned about playing Lennon yeah. um, in the Royal Court. Court. Yes. Are you looking forward to that? I am looking forward to it. Um, how did he come about? Yeah, he just got in touch with me, he kept ringing me up. And I thought like, you know, it seemed like a, I understood the idea of why they were, you know, knocking at my door. And I, but I thought it was all auditions and I was just going to read the, the script and, and, you know, and kind of play with the idea in a fanciful way that like, oh, that would be good. Maybe I could, you know, maybe I could do that. And then, but then it, they just kind of said, no, there is no auditions. It's you, it's you or, or we're not doing it. Oh, yeah. It's a kind of like, like flatsy, you know what I mean? So, we're going to sign. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but now, you know, it's not something you can win. I mean, I can quite easily, you can throw me, you know, if I've got a gig and I can get me through it. You know, I've got nothing to relate it to, but I think it could be a great experience. I mean, it's a homage to John Lennon. You know, so I look at it like that. Um, Are we sort of seeing a new career path? I don't know. I, that, I, you know what? This came, if you'd have asked me earlier about this, I wouldn't have seen this on the, on the horizon at all. Now I don't want to go into acting. I, 
I don't profess to be anything like that, but you don't know where things lead. I could be sitting in your chair and this side next year and interviewing, doing inter a better job. interviewing you about, I mean, life's got a funny habit of throwing things at you. At least expect, when you least expect, and things that you don't expect even. So I don't know what you know. will have gone, will have been influenced, you know, by the Beatles, so that makes more sense. I don't know really. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What, who would I like to play? John Lennon. Well, I'm going to play it, aren't I? So, I'm getting used to playing me bloody self. It's taken for, you know, it's taken a lifetime as it is to play this role, whatever role that is. Well, brilliant, thanks for joining us. That's all right, it's a pleasure. Best of luck for tonight. Thank you very much. You're sticking around, yeah? Yeah. You're going to film it, aren't you? Yeah. There you go. That's brilliant. I'll see you all later, thank, thank you. you. All right. Yeah? Thanks, no, 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 I'm not afraid, no, I'm not ashamed.